Hi there, today I'm sitting here in this Mazda 2. I'm making a video by request. The Mazda 2 is packed with safety features and one of the features is called iStop. With iStop, it's designed so that the car doesn't roll back when you're on a hill. And this person that I know, let's say Mature, who has a car just like this, has had trouble trying to figure out how does the eye stop work because they were under the impression that eye stop would stop the car from rolling backwards when they're stopped on a hill and for some reason it continued to roll backwards i'm making this video for anyone else out there who might have a similar car this type of feature is in a lot of new cars today for anyone else out there that doesn't know how it works this video is for you so here i am in this mazda parked on a hill you can see it's a pretty steep hill and I'm just going to pretend that I'm parked at the traffic lights. I'm sitting at a red light. So I've got the car still in drive. I'm waiting for the green light to come on before I move off from the traffic light. I want to demonstrate how the eye stop feature functions on this hill. So what happens when the light goes green and I take my foot off the brakes is the car should hold its position without rolling backwards, which you can see it's doing. But now, all of a sudden, it starts to roll backwards. So what's going on here? The feature, as it was understood, should stop the car from rolling backwards. And this is what the person who, who asked me to make this video asked me to explain. Why does the car roll backwards? Well, the answer to this is quite simple. The brakes will only hold the car for around about five seconds. After that time, it's going to release the brakes and the car will then roll. The other thing to understand is that this system, immediately upon touching the accelerator pedal, will release the brakes. So you've got about five seconds to get your foot from the brake pedal onto the accelerator, but if you just touch that accelerator slightly, the car can roll back still. And this is where the person who I was teaching how to do this was going wrong. That person was touching the accelerator too gently. In an automatic car, there's a torque converter. This torque converter allows the engine to idle while still being connected to the drive system. In order to get the car to roll forward, when you're using the I-stop, you need to press that accelerator pedal quite deliberately enough down to actually get the car to start rolling forward. And if you do that, you'll find the iStop system works perfectly every time. And this is applicable to other vehicles as well, not just Mazda. Just to show that again, if you take your foot off the brake and touch the accelerator gently, the car can start rolling back as the torque transferred through the transmission to the wheels is not enough to sufficiently counteract the weight of the car. Okay, so that's all for now. Until next time, see you later.